How has your message, Dr. Jill Stein, on Israel-Palestine and what you're demanding, the planks and the Green Party platform, been covered and received? Well, really, none of our planks have been covered and received, not only our position on Israel-Palestine, uh, our position on foreign policy, our position on jobs and climate and student debt. Uh, we've basically been disappeared from the uh, mainstream conversation. But I have to say, you know, in terms of our own outreach and our, you know, the reach of our social media and our campaign and the independent media like yourself that actually um, does its job uh, responsibly, um, the reception has been incredible. And we've been able to put Israel, Palestine, into a much broader human rights framework, actually, because one of the big uh, criticisms that's always been leveled against, for example, the BDS campaign, uh, the boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign against this occupying uh, force, this military force, um, one of the criticisms is that, oh, you're singling out Israel. So we've made it a point to say we're not singling out anybody. This is a general standard of international law and human rights that our administration, our Green administration, would would apply to all countries. So we are saying if countries are in violation of international law and human rights, as Israel is for its occupations, its home demolitions, its assassinations and so on, um, that we will not uh, support you. And right now we're supporting Israel to the tune of $8 million a day. But we'll say the same thing to the Saudis. We should not be selling weapons or otherwise supporting the Saudis. And as you pointed out on this show, $110 billion in the last decade and rising, despite the human rights uh, abuses and the war crimes being committed by the Saudis, with U.S. assistance, in fact. Um, you know, this is one of many issues that I think people are really clamoring to hear more about. Do you join the call of the New York Times and Guardian editorial boards for U.S. and British governments to end their support of Saudi Arabia? I would say and they Yemen? are joining our call, which has been longstanding <laughs> now, for the length of our campaign. Here I am talking.